to Sunrise Daily World. Um, today we focus on the controversy surrounding the NBC. Well, now we're joined by Sir Godfrey Yohabrama, who is the chairman, Association of Licensed Set-Top Box Manufacturers of Nigeria. That's a STB man, S-T-B-M-A-N. Yes. Thank you for coming on this morning. Yeah, thank you. Well, uh, for some time now, uh, the news has been out there. The DG of NBC is in custody of the EFCC over, they say, some 15 billion naira meant to be remitted to TSA uh, funds for the DSO. What do you know about this? Basically, first, uh, when I saw the news, I was one of those um, very surprising items. Because I know one first, there is no 15 billion missing anywhere, at least as much as I know concerning that of the newspaper report. The truth is that if Nigerians might be told the truth, it's not just the 15 billion. I want to just take us back a little bit, if you permit. First, what is digitization? What is the whole DSO? The DSO, it's something that is a global uh, um, 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 an agreement by all, by ITU. And Nigeria is a signatory to that. And before this time, over the last, since 2006 to today, Nigeria has been making an effort to go digital. Now, in that process, we, part of us who are also members of the cable satellite operators of Nigeria, um, went digital in 2007. So, the decision has started. Now, but for you to go digital, well, there's one major primary thing that is needed in that, that is set-top box. There are three of them, the transmission company, the set-top box, and the aggregator. All these have been licensed prior to this time. Now, but the issue is that Nigeria could go digital because they need about 60 billion to do this. Now, last year, uh, Mr. Shola Taylor, who is the um, president of the International Telecommunication Union for West Africa, came to Nigeria in a conference. I said, hey, why are we looking for money? Where we can get money? And he brought an idea that Nigeria could sell one of the frequencies or could license somebody that could buy one of the frequencies. Through that, they can get money. Now, <clears throat> I think that's what NBC did. NBC took that advice, went ahead, licensed uh, MTN for triple play. Is that the 700 megahertz? The 700 megahertz. MTN, uh, just for people to know, M NBC does not sell frequency. It was not the difference. When I get a TV license like you have, I am given a frequency. So frequency is all comes with the license, not like NC that sells a frequency. And I think that was also causing some controversy before this time. So NBC gave MTN a triple play license to do TV on mobile. But that license goes with 700 because 700 meg and 800 meg are TV frequencies. They're not telecom frequencies. So that frequency, from what I also hear, actually, one of the telcos Prior to that, had wanted to buy, get that frequency for 399 million naira. But to God be the glory with the, some lawyers and all that, they were able to sell that frequency or that license NBC for the same frequency at 34 billion. So that was a breaking good thing. So that's where the money came. So where did that money go? The money went, from what I understand and what we know, the money went straight to government account in Zenet Bank. Straight to Senate Bank. Now, you know, saying one bank, it looks like there's something to Senate Bank. And that account is the NBC DSO account. Because all licenses paid were well, paid into that account. We paid the license. Everyone who paid paid 50 million okay. to get license. But this 15 now, they say it's part of a certain 34 billion. <coughs> yes. What's going on? Now, there's no 15 billion, there are 34 billion. There are 13 set top bus manufacturers. Each of that 13 best for we are shared one. 0.2 million set-top box for the just DSO. And each of them is for the five dollars. If you times it and multiply by 150% as a guarantee, it's 15 billion. So they came to us that we should manufacture. Well, I mean, the thing came to the set-top box and say, manufacture, we can't do that. On a transaction like this, there must be a guarantee. Because one, there's a change of government. Two, the set-top box might need to borrow money. And for them to borrow money, there's a guarantee. And the bank of industry. Uh, all banks request you to have some. If we produce, who will buy it? So NBC had to issue a guarantee, an off-taker guarantee, not money. Nobody was paid by. With that off-taker guarantee, the set-top box now went to the banks, different banks, and took loans, as of today, 
Some of them are in over two, three, four billion. Certain of Fetra has been set up. So that 15 million is a cash back of the guarantee given by Zenit Bank to these companies. So, and this is before the TSA. So when the TSA comes from, what I understand, Zenit Bank remitted every other money, but that money was not remitted because it was already encumbered. The 15 billion had been encumbered before then. So you cannot remit what is not available. So that's where... That's where the, that... The, that's the but why, why then did they say that? Because the commission says that uh, the DG was picked up because uh, there was a certain petition from some accountants and some accountants that made some implicating statements and that's why they're going on with this investigation. First, I'm not standing brief for NBC. That's number one. That must be made clear. We're here as stakeholders, as Nigerians, as people who are forthright. And I believe that this government of Buhari is looking for truth. And as a young person and as a major person, a, a stakeholder, we must tell the truth if Nigeria must move forward. One of the challenges I found in Nigeria is not just corruption. The problem of Nigeria is lies, deceit, and some group of people just cook up stories. Take back to history. All the things have failed. Even PTF, all of them were failed out of stories. Mm -hmm. Wherever this story came back, somebody who didn't benefit may have written that petition to someone who don't understand the dynamics because the money was kept in a, as, uh, not kept, what I mean, when you make a guarantee, it's held back. So someone who don't understand this transaction may just think that money was missing. Two, whatever the reasons may be, but what I think that may have happened is this. Either those who were the did not understand the dynamics of the transaction, or some people who had interest, who didn't really benefit from it, just wanted to cook up story, or there may be other issues which we are not aware of. So you must know that the issue, and we are discussing an issue of 15 billion. There may be other issues, maybe a discriminative issue that has to do with their local business, local transaction in the in, in NBC. But as much as the 15 billion is concerned, I went to Zenit Bank yesterday and I called the account officer, you guys, the 15 billion, it says there. And we can't, so if you do the multiply, if you multiply 1.5, 1.2 set top box times $45 times 200 naira, times another, because the, the guarantee is 150%, 145%, that will give 15 billion. And the 15 billion, for what I know, is sitting in the bank today. So what I see is merely some joke. And I think the critical thing, message here is not the 15 billion. And I think this is very critical for Nigeria. If we do, as of today, no 15 billion is missing. But if we continue the way we are going, 15 billion we miss. And ask me how. And I will tell you very clearly. In fact, if they don't stop it today, tomorrow, 15 billion will miss by next week. Because today, we, the central board, have money, borrowed money from all the banks. Different states, some two billion, some three billion, some are. Uh, so, and the set, things have been set up. And those borrowing are backed by guarantee. Now, if the government, or some reason, all these characters, or people, or whoever it is, scuttles this DSO, the whole money will go to the wind. And that's how Nigeria had continued to lose money. I swear, in fact, when I saw it in the paper, I said, now I know why nothing works in Nigeria. Look at the railway. Look at all the projects of government. So I, I, sorry to interrupt you. Are you also feeling threatened, the DSOs, as the set of box manufacturers? Are they feeling threatened by this action? Yes, because, look, the U.S. government, there's a company called Broadcom. Broadcom is manufacturing the chips. There's a company called InView and free for those who are in the UK. These companies have invested multi-billions to be able to roll out this in for Nigeria because UK has 10 point something million subscribers. Nigeria is coming 60 million. It's the biggest ever set up, what I mean, a platform for the whole. So immediately derails is going to put problem to Nigeria. It's going to affect our businesses and other salary businesses. But before I go for a last one, what is the advantage of DSO? Because that's what Nigeria wants to see. What benefit is it? The benefits are one for the government. If the DSO continues, there are, as of today, all the TV stations are using frequencies on the 700 and 800 megahertz. That what they call dividend of, the, this the dividend of digitization. That means that all these TV houses, their frequency will be farmed back. There are about 21 of them. And imagine if one of those frequencies was sold for. $200 million like it is sold now, times $200 million times 21, times it to nine, that's about $1 trillion. That is enough to fund this deficit government. Two, deficit budget. Two, the 
issue of the box, the new setup yeah. box, we allow for subscription. What I mean, for license, TV license fee. You know, if you drive around your roads, you see some tasks will block your car. That will stop that. Government alone from that can also re regenerate at least another half a trillion from that license fee. Secondly, or thirdly, government will generate revenue from taxes, from revenue, from pay. Finally, how does it affect us as business for the industrial ICT? It will increase bandwidth for the telcos to do what they call triple play. Because we move out from that, if we move out from that band, companies like all the telcos will use that frequency to improve their services. Because <coughs> the, the frequency of print is too expensive. So is any of this on hold now that the AFCC... Uh, it's a little DJs. bit on hold because the DSO for JOS is supposed to be launched by February. And that's the pilot. The pilot. The companies <coughs> in China are panicking. They are shouting. The banks who are to give us loans have stopped. In fact, some of us, BOIs, they are already waiting. So, and the ones, the loans are already given by any bank, interest are already multiplied. And the margin on the business is barely $3.